Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to Project Zomboid Keystone Day 3. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use the map, the PZ map, to show you guys my game plan for the day so you guys are a little bit familiar. And I think it'll be a little more easy for you guys to understand. So let's do this here. Um, this is our house right here that we're in. We're going to try to make it today over here to the gas to go. There is another gas station in town. It's way up here. Where's it at? Let me find it here. Ah, right here. But it's surrounded by a bunch of businesses, and this is normally very heavily populated by zombies, so I'm not really keen on going there. My plan is, and this is my, my hopes, is that we can go over here and find ourselves a gas can, and if we need to, have emergency place to stay. We got this trailer park here. We also have a little cabin here and a house here. So we got some places about halfway between the two that we could stay. There's also a tavern, a diner, restaurant, police station. Um, I don't think we're going to have enough. It, it all depends. Maybe we'll try to look at the police station a little bit, but that might be a little ambitious. That's like a stretch goal. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to try to make it all the way down there, find a gas can here, fill it up, uh, there should be cars around this area, and if we can find one that functions and all it needs is fuel, we can uh, we can get it up and running. That would be awesome. So that's my goal for this episode. So let's go ahead and get back into the game here, and uh, let's get started. He's peckish. He's getting bored. Well, he, that's all about to change. So we are traveling pretty light. We got our matches, cigarettes. Let's have our morning smoke here real quick. And uh, how many matches does he have left? A lot. Okay, so I'm going to probably drop this lighter down here in our little junk drawer. I think this is where we're keeping lighters and things like that. Yeah, we got lighters in there. Let's go and throw that in there. Wrench, that's good. It's in good condition. Metal bar, still in great condition. So we got a couple of good melee options. So just double check in case we get glass in our hands or something like that. We got tweezers, bottle of disinfectant. And we should have a at least one uh, sterilized bandage ready to rock and roll for us. Alright, so let's get going. It's late in the day, so we don't want to... Oh. Well, that was... That's a sign of things to come. I don't know if... Alright, let's back off and try to take these on. One at a time, sort of. Just knock them back. I don't like it. I don't like all these trespassers. To leave a line of corpses. Well, that was interesting. Anybody got anything worthwhile? Someone's got a... Oh, that's for my truck. I was just close enough to my truck that my key activated. Oh, these probably you guys probably don't have much. Well, I wonder if he's still bored. Oh, he's no longer bored. Check that out. <laughs> Imagine that. Right, I'll throw the vitamins in there. All right, let's go. Maybe I should do a quick sweep around my house so I don't come back to a completely overrun house. That was a bit too close for comfort. Okay. Hopefully we can find a couple of gas cans and get those filled up. And that should help us get the uh, van up and running at the very least. All right, well, let's head on down the road here. I'm just going to walk normal, I think. Try not to tucker myself out too much. Okay. I don't know if I'm being a little too ambitious doing this, but I think we're going to be alright. I don't think it's going to take us too long. It all depends on what kind of... What, time, what, what kind of groups of zombies we have to... face. Because if we have to... go around large groups, that might slow us down quite a bit. But Got a couple cars here broken down. Maybe we'll find a gas can and plenty of fuel in those. Who knows? Maybe the... Whole plan will change right now, but 
The fence. There we go. It wasn't a fence that was going to cause us to drop our purse. So that was good. All right, I want to get low here. Not really interested in this house yet. Like I said, I'm keeping my eye on the prize. Trying not to get too distracted by shiny objects. But I do want to check these cars real quick. Normally these are pretty beat up and aren't really great for fuel. But I do have the crashed vehicles mod. Which should allow crashed vehicles not just to be written off and pretty much worthless so let's see here no fuel there at least this guy's probably going to come after us when we search this car i wonder i don't think standing up when you do this is actually changing you from sneak all right let's see what we got here they seem to find you as soon as you get into a car though it seems odd let me get out. Because as soon as I get into a car, it's like I suddenly become way more visible. Alright, you want to come after me? Come on. Might as well get it out of the way. Let's get all this awkwardness out of the way. Clear the air. There we go. I missed you. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. I know that there was a, a bandage in there. Let's put, that, uh, let's put that over here. I put the beta blockers in the wrong spot. Should have won my medical kit here. There we go. I'm going to disinfect this bandage while I'm sitting here. Might as well have two, two of these sterilized bandages. Okay, we'll put this back in our fanny pack. Let's exit out, check the trunk, see if we can get into it. I wonder if, stand by, let me check something here. I'm gonna bring up the, uh, the old radio. I, I didn't mean for him to get out. Get in. There we go. I want to unlock all doors. Does that include the trunk? Yeah. Okay, I think we've unlocked the trunk now. Oh, okay, apparently not. All right, let's just keep going down this little dirt road, trying to avoid some of the uh, lootable areas up there because obviously there's going to be more zombies up there. But uh, stay low here, keep our eyes open. This is that shack that we can stay at then the next should be a series of uh, trailers uh oh what's with all the blood on the road makes me a bit nervous what caused all that guess we could probably just run speed it up a little bit Oh, we got ourselves a box truck up here. Might not be the worst thing to have. A lot of zombies in the trailer park. Might not be the best place to stay. Probably want to stay at that cabin if we have to stay anywhere. Or at least this one down here. All right, let's see what we can find out about this box truck. Oops, someone's banging on the window. I heard somebody banging on the door also. Zero out of 42 units of fuel, so. Let's see. Anything in the glove box? Nope. Not worth much. Not the best find.
All right, I think this is just the park there. I think once we get a little bit past this, then we can cut up here to the, uh, this direction is north. So that would be west. So if I'm going this way, that's north on the map. I believe that's what it is. If you are holding down W and D keys at the same time, it's supposed to be north. All right, here's the tavern. Okay, cool. Oh, we got a f couple cars here. That white one might be worthwhile. Blue one's a little busted up, but it could still be doable. Oh, another car. That blue one looks like it's in a little bit better shape. But yeah, I figured we'd find cars down here on these parking lots. And a green car. So we got some options here. The Rusty Rifle. All right. I don't think I've ever been down to this one. Never really had a reason to. Until now. Maybe I haven't. I just forgot the name. Zero out of 16 for the fuel. And like I, like I said, I'm just checking these vehicles for gas cans. Take the matches. And can I... Let's uh, switch seats here. I think I need to be in the number one seat to yeah, get this option down here. Let's unlock these doors. Alright, I just want to see if I lock myself out of the car. I was curious if you could do that. Alright, there we go. So we did unlock it. Car battery, empty bottle, regular tire, screwdriver. That's good to, good to know. So this one has a battery... And, uh, tire. Now, if I bring up the in-game map, you can actually add notes to locations. Like, you can write in on it. I left the map back at the house, so it's not going to help us now, but... I got your nothing in that one. Well, at least we can get into these. Beta blockers, take those. I don't think I've ever seen anything in the seats. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Maybe it does happen, but I've never found anything just sitting in the seats unless I placed it there myself. No gas. These people are a bunch of no gas driving mofos, aren't they? No gas. Jeez. I'm going to take a look at this one again. I want to see the overall condition. That green one looks pretty decent. This one a little busted up on the windows, but 62.19. Anything crazy low? The tire, but we could. I need a. I need a jack and a lug wrench plus that tire over here, and I should be able to change that tire out. You can actually do uh, deflate tires, inflate tires if you have a tire pump. Get them at the right psi. So all kinds of stuff you can do. You can turn on the uh, air conditioner and heater in there. It's cold or hot, get yourself warmed up, cool down while the engine's running. Alright, um. Yeah. I don't know why I jumped back in there. I think, have I, I've already checked this, haven't I? Oh, tire pump. There we go, and a tire. Cool. So we got two tires and tire pump over here. I could actually use that tire pump to, uh, I want to take that with me. How heavy is that? Not too heavy. We'll put it in a duffel bag. I could use that to pump up some tires before we take off in whatever vehicle we end up deciding on. That way the tires wear down less. So, well, we got th just three. That's not bad. And we got, we attracted one. Thought I was supposed to be inconspicuous. What's going on here? Come here, buddy. Nothing worthwhile on you. What you, buddy? What you got? <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There we go. Just shove her to the ground. 
Again, nothing. Okay. Felt bad for a second there. I thought she was a medical worker. Looks like she had on those uh, her magenta or maroon scrubs or whatever. In there. Can we get into this one? Please. Dang it. This was probably going to be an amazing shape. Causing me to have to break out a window. It looks all shiny and new. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It even has lots of gas. I need to find a key for this thing. I need to find... It might be somebody inside the rusty rifle. So let's go check this place. See if we can find a key. If not, we'll have to break out a window to get in. As much as I hate to do that. Yeah, that, that car looks really nice. I'm still going to head up to the gas station to try to find... To try to find a fuel can and fuel. That way we have a way to refuel the car when it eventually does run out of gas. I hear you. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, dang. The walls made it a little hard to see you. You got a key for me? No, you don't. You got dog tags, which I don't care about. That does not help me at all. All right, well, hopefully there's another one of you guys in here that has a key. I wouldn't even normally be checking these bathrooms, but desperate for a zombie with a key. Because I don't want to damage the window unless I have to. I can replace the window, but I don't want to have to do that. I want to have a nice sealed up car. Could drink my troubles away. Just sit here and drink the rest of the day. Right, what we got here? We got some milk. I'll take that. A couple freezers, actually. Yeah, nice. Mutton chop uncooked. Take that as well. Just a heads up, if you do hear a little bit of noise in the background, I am recording after my kids got home from school. So, we're giving it a, tr a try. Normally, I don't. Normally, I do it when everybody's asleep. But I made an exception today. They're normally pretty well behaved. Alright, what we got up here? Just a bathroom. Nothing on those shelves. Huh, wonder what kind of business they're running here. This looks a little odd. Suspicious. Alright, let's go. Alright, well, well, we'll definitely at least get that green car. Um, let's head on over to the gas station. looking around if I see a key anywhere. Normally it's pretty close to the car, like in this area here. I don't see one, though. Uh, it's probably in the glove box. <laughs> oh, well. We tried. We tried, folks. We tried. Is this guy coming after me? He is. Wow. I didn't I know I was just walking normally, but I wasn't expecting that. Maybe this is the one with the key. Maybe this will work out. You got some serious arm injuries here, buddy. You got something sticking out of your back too, don't you? Or is that a ponytail? I can't tell. Let's take a look. Just a ponytail, I guess. Okay. We need to start kind of cutting up this direction. I want to just go and give these zombies plenty of room. If you can see how far. Oh, we got one out here in the field. That's a zombie outstanding in his field. There's the gas to go. All right. I'm just going to try to clear these out very methodically, one at a time. Let's just try to do this as carefully as possible. 
Lots of nice cars on this lot, too. That red one. I have high hopes. Come on, buddy. You saw me. Back up a little bit. Coming at me at a weird angle there. Alright, we got her. This guy looks like a park ranger, maybe a police officer of some kind, I'm not sure. Do a quick look. These are the only two here, huh? Well, if I get in front of him, I should, he should be able to see me here in half a second. Okay, you see me, buddy? There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Come on over here. Yeah, I think it's going to be a park ranger. That's exactly what it is. Police shirt. It doesn't show that protecting my arms any better. So, I'm going to leave that. I know it's long sleeves. Yeah, you got a cleaver in your back, dude. It's not the worst. Depends on what condition is. I'm assuming it's not. Not 100%. Let's get you at this angle. There we go. I'm just a little more comfortable with that angle. Meat cleaver. Yeah, not the best. It's it's decent. I'll we'll throw that in the duffel bag as well. All right. Very good. Any keys laying around? Okay, now we got a few zombies up here to deal with. Not a huge amount. A smattering. Let's let's say it's a smattering of zombies. I mean, that's about how many we killed at our house as soon as we came out the front door, so this can't be that bad. Oh, he needs a smoke is what he needs. Let's let him have a cigarette before he decides to move in on these guys. Help with his nerves a little bit. It's starting to get a little late, honestly. But, uh, okay. I think this one will see me. There we go. We got two coming. That's fine. We can deal with that. I'm just stomping them. I know I don't get skilled up on my melee, like short, uh, blunt, or I guess this, is this long blunt? Maybe short blunt, but I, whatever. I don't get skilled up on my blunt when I do that, but I'm just trying to preserve my weapons until we have, just have, we're swimming in them. I'm in no hurry. There'll be plenty of zombies to kill. There we go. Got your attention. You come over here. Come on, buddy. No keys on you, huh? Looks like some fog's starting to roll in just a little bit. Not bad. A little bit. her off. She did that weird flip thing again. What have we seen before? How many more we got up here? Yeah, a few more. I'll just deal with these guys here real quick. We can always sleep in one of these cars. Not the best option, but we should be okay if we clear out the zombies from here. I'm okay with that. Tan fork and nothing else. Let's do it. I don't want to get too close to that awning. It's hard to see what's what else is under there. Could be surprised. Okay. 
Let's check these gas or these trash cans here. There's a couple trash cans. Might be worth a look. There's another car up in this area here too. Sometimes. Oh, there's one. Looks slightly damaged. I couldn't really tell. Garbage bag. We'll take that. And nothing else. Okay. I want to go check the uh, gas station here before we do anything else. There's probably going to be a couple in here. There's at least one there. Garbage bag. I actually want to take both of those. There we go. End up with a lot of rain catches at this rate. Hopefully this door's open. It is. How kind. How many we got in here? Just you? Oh wow, last time I was in here I think it was like three or four. Go ahead and let him eat all these chips since he's hungry. Here we go. Gas can. Perfect. We'll eat a gas station cupcake. Hopefully we find another one. I wouldn't mind having a couple. I'd be thrilled with three. I'd be extremely happy with two, but I'm already pretty happy with just one, so I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, we're not going to mess with the water canteen. Let's see what else we have here on the end cap. Nothing. Okay. CD. Nothing there. You can drink. Drink that soda. I'll take this one as well. We're satiated. That's fine. Lighter and chips. Take those. Alright, buddy. There's a storage room back here. Let's just be ready. Right, what you got? What you got for me? Nothing. Just a soda pop. Okay, we'll take that. I want to open and close this real quick. Hopefully that zombie... You will know if he starts banging his head on it, but... Alright. Get another drink. I'm sure we're probably not too thirsty after all the drinks we've had here. Okay. I was just wondering if there's going to be a zombie in there with a key to one of these cars. I haven't checked these. Uh, mag these are normally magazines. All right, not too worried about these. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Not sure what that's a map of, but didn't really say. Normally it says like West Point or something like that. Let's check the old. Uh, these are all just. Uh, I don't think these are just like sodas and stuff. If anything, yeah. Oh, we got some chips. I guess these are actual. I didn't realize that the these were containers of any kind. Okay, let's uh, get down this way. Another empty gas can. Perfect. I must have missed that the first time I played. Money, money. Okay, we got two empty gas cans. That's what I wanted. Slide out here best we can. Fill these up. Be extra careful. All right, we're getting our fuel, like we said. It's going to be another late night, unfortunately. I'll probably just sleep in this car down here. Put that in the the old uh, duffel bag to definitely get a so it's weights five so we don't want to be carrying that around loosely in our inventory all right let's get this one filled up uh oh who we got we got a visitor nope <laughs> not tonight we don't okay let's equip this one how are we going to do this Got one in here, right? That one's full. 
Looks like I'm holding one. Well, I guess we'll just equip a primer. See if we can use it. It won't let us. Okay, I want to try a different pump. Let me get away from these zombies down here. Now they're starting to make me a little nervous about staying here. Why can't I fill this one up? Maybe I need to unequip it. Maybe I need to put this one on the ground. Thought I heard something. I want to move out to the open. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's try dropping this one. This is the one that has fuel in it. As we can see. This one is not in my bags so it's accessible I'm not sure why it wasn't letting me fill this one up. oh because it has fuel and it. it's not empty I'm I'm so okay let's not do that then I'm so stupid <laughs> I'm so used to finding empty empty gas cans I, I just don't even I for, completely forgot that actual gas cans with fuel already in it <laughs> exists so all right okay, here. wrench car battery Take that wrench. I know we already have one wrench back at the house, but... Okay. This one probably is going to be locked. That's I had a feeling. It's probably going to be in decent shape, too. Wait, are you coming after me? Yeah, he is. Unfortunately. Luckily, we're not exhausted or anything like that, because I think we've been taking it pretty easy today. Plus, we woke up pretty late. The ladder probably being the most important thing. All right, I want to check this engine. I have a feeling it's going to be in pretty good shape, since we can't since we can't get into the car itself at the moment. Yeah, 84, yeah, it's, it's really good shape. I'm gonna take this car, probably. Let me double check these ones. A little bit of fuel there. Um, yeah, okay. Wrong side. Yeah, definitely not that one. We'll take the uh, we'll take the red car because we're gonna have to break into the other one anyway. So, here's the thing, though. I'm gonna have to I'll have to break the window. So we gotta be ready to go. Check this door. I had a feeling. All right. All right. Here we go. I guess I'll do the back window here. Will it let me bust it? I need to click on this. There we go. Smash rear right window. Let's try it. I guess we better try all the doors. I'm sure they're all going to be locked. But, uh... Alright, let's do it. Let's get his attention. Or kill him first. Because it's going to take me a second to hotwire it. <laughs> A zombie being attacked by a person. At the gas and go. Uh, no keys. Oh well. Could have. Ah, those are my hopes. Wait, what's making that noise? Oh, I thought this was the key at first. Let's go and smash the window. Let's go ahead and uh, clear the glass away. Front seat. Okay, hot wire. Let's see, hot wire. 
Hot wire, hot wire, hot wire. Come on. Failed. Try again. There we go. We got it this time. Start the old engine. We are off, folks. We got ourselves a car. As I run over the zombie on the way out down. You guys want to turn on the lights? We can turn on the lights. All right. Well, we're going to head on back home then. Actually, hold on. We're going to not go this way. Should have grabbed the extra tires and the uh, batteries. But uh, I wasn't thinking. Van that we tried to get into for the box truck. We do drive pretty quick, don't we? Um, which way I want to go? I think I want to go this way. We had to hop that fence, didn't we? Yeah, I think we're good here. Yep. Okay. We're back on track. Actually, we want to go down this road. We are back in the neighborhood. And we're home. Oh, you know what? Let me jump in. Make sure I turn the car off. There we go. And turn off the lights. Now we can get out. I think we have a zombie coming to us from up here. Oh, nope. He's not bothered by us. Okay. Well, we made it back. We got our car. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And it's a little late again. I'm going to go ahead and set an alarm for tomorrow. Might have to take a cat nap during the day, but we're not hungry, we're not thirsty. I'm gonna still get a drink nonetheless. We're a little bit heavy, I'll offload tomorrow. And I will say that's a pretty successful mission. It actually worked out as planned. Normal, normally that does not happen, at least for me. All right, let's uh, go ahead and drop this here. Well, we now have an escape vehicle, so that's nice. Let's see how we're doing here. Starting to lose weight again, but we're not starving, so that's all good. Killed 50 zombies so far, metal bar, favorite weapon. Survived two days, 19 hours. All right, guys. On that note, I shall say good day, good afternoon, good night, wherever you may be. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, someone's banging on the door.